So one question that you guys are probably curious about or maybe you're not curious about is when I went to go study abroad in Japan, was I able to understand the classes I was taking in Japan? Now that's one question I had before I went to go study abroad in Japan for the first time because my Japanese skill level at that time like was pretty much non-existent. The only Japanese I knew were like basic phrases like hello, goodbye and like the basic katakana and hiragana characters which I wasn't that good at and kanji non-existent. So it's a question I had because I didn't want to go to Japan, study abroad there and not understand what was going on. I was nervous about it especially because the university I was going to was a small university. It was a university that had about eight to ten buildings on the whole campus. You know you had the gym, two cafeteria buildings and like five buildings, six buildings were like the actual class buildings and there was no dorms on the actual campus. So it was a really small university. After I arrived for the first time I found out that me and the girl that came with me we were the only two Americans in the whole university. There was no Australians, no people from New Zealand, no one from like Europe. It was only two Americans and the other international students were Chinese and Korean. So international students, Chinese, Korean and two Americans. So it didn't seem that English friendly if you know what I mean. And the Chinese and Korean international students they were really good at Japanese so they had no trouble like taking like advanced classes, Japanese only classes. Well, anyway so me and my friend we arrived at the university in Japan and the first time we arrived we realized realized how lucky we were because the university in Japan helped us out a lot. The study abroad office at our Japanese university, the staff there like most of them were like bilingual or like trilingual where they knew like multiple languages and um, English being one of them so they had no problem talking with us and they set us up with Japanese students who were majoring in English to help us out and help us register for classes, help us like go shopping for our groceries, help us like pay our bills. So the staff they helped us meet English Japanese majors to pretty much help us out with everything which was amazing because we got to meet like a lot of friends right away when we arrived in Japan who spoke English and those friends pretty much became like our friends throughout the whole year and we became close over time so so it was nice that the university helped us meet those students you know those English majors now let me talk about the classes specifically so the classes we took the first one was obviously the Japanese language class because we went to go study abroad over there to learn Japanese so the Japanese language class was our primary class and we had that that class for three hours a day four times a week it was Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday three hours a day so 12 hours a week total the teachers in that class were bilingual they spoke English and Japanese so they encouraged us to speak Japanese you know they were our Japanese teachers they were teaching us Japanese and they were trying to make us like just speak Japanese and only listen to Japanese and the only time they used English was when we were like really struggling or something then they would explain themselves in English or if we had like any questions that we couldn't really ask in Japanese we would ask in English and they would explain to us in English but I mean throughout that class they really encouraged us to try and ask in Japanese and try and understand in Japanese and that's how those classes were taught. They were like mainly taught like in Japanese but the teachers like they went into English if they needed to so it was really helpful to have like the teachers speak both English and Japanese and they were very lenient with us like with the homework and stuff because they knew that kanji and listening and talking Japanese was hard but the classes they did become difficult or, um, throughout the year. By the end of the year like the teachers were like speaking like straight Japanese to us and like rarely used English and when we first arrived like our teachers did us ask us like what our Japanese level was at and we told them like yeah it's pretty much non-existent so when they started teaching us Japanese it was like at the baby level so very good very good for us now another class we took was Japanese culture and society class we learned about you know Japanese culture and stuff like that it was called Japanese affairs that class was mixed with foreign students the like us two Americans Korean students Chinese students and natural Japanese students now that class the teacher Teacher. she was I believe she was like part Russian but she was living in Japan her whole life well, anyway that teacher she was amazing at English and Japanese like she was like pretty much fluent in English and obviously her Japanese was perfect in that class since it was a mixture of foreign students and Japanese students she would teach in Japanese and in English so she'll be saying something in English blah 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 and then she'll go into Japanese da, 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 you know and then she'll teach the class like that like throughout the whole class throughout the whole semester she'll be like teaching English Japanese like she'll be going back and forth so that all the students can understand what was going on and then at the end of the class she would have all the foreign students become like the group discussion leaders so she'll, she'll split us up into groups and she'll have the foreign students talk with the Japanese students and try and encourage the Japanese students to talk and she would also encourage like us to try and use Japanese so that was one class the third class we took it was a class that was not required but it was a class for Japanese English majors now English majors they take obviously classes in English the most advanced class 
class for Japanese English majors is a discussion class where they are only allowed to use English. And that class is taught by an American teacher. So in that class, that class was meant for Japanese students, but pretty much that class was called English discussion. It was like the highest level, the highest level of English discussion class at that university for Japanese students. And pretty much the teacher will give the students, the Japanese students, a topic and they will discuss the topic using only English. So it's a good way for the Japanese students to practice their English. Now, since me and the girl that came with me to study abroad, since we were obviously American, for us, the teacher, he told us like, since we obviously already know English, he was just gonna put us into groups and just talk with them. And we're gonna be like, I guess like, uh, kind of like teacher assistants is what, is kind of what he labeled us. So we weren't really taking the class, but we were like assisting in the class, you know, like teacher assistants kind of. So we would talk with them and discuss the topic with them. And that's pretty much what that class was, is just speaking English, talking about a certain topic. And they were easy topics, man. It was like, you know, topics like boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships, social media. What do you think about being a YouTuber? You know, easy topics to talk about. And that's all we did. So easiest day I ever got while I was studying abroad. The final class that I took that was also not required by like my university or the Japanese university was a seminar. Now, Japanese, like at that university in Japan, seminars are pretty much classes, kind of like homerooms. It's a class that when you take it, you're going to be taking it every single semester and every single year that you are in school. So anyway, international students are allowed to enter those seminars. But the thing is that those seminars are not English friendly. They are all spoken in Japanese. Everything is in Japanese. So I did enter a seminar. The teacher, she knew English, but she never used English. She was good at English, but she never used it. Like throughout that seminar, she never tried to help me with the English. If I needed help with something, she would she would not explain herself until I was like really, really struggling. And then she would help me. Um, I entered a cultural and international, uh, kind of like international culture seminar. So when I entered the seminar, you know, it was all Japanese students with Korean students, Chinese students, and then me, just me. So yeah, throughout that seminar, I was always lost. I didn't understand anything. Everything was in Japanese, but I did meet some Korean students and Chinese students who knew English and were really good at English and they helped me get through it. And I also met a lot of good friends there. And it was a good experience because it forced me to listen to Japanese and try and discuss in Japanese. Like I had no choice, you know, but the Chinese students and Korean students that knew English, they like try to help me and try and explain what was going on. So pretty much those were the classes that I took while studying abroad. All the classes were English friendly. The only exception was the seminar I entered, which was all Japanese. I did struggle in it, but the friends I met there helped me out. And yeah, pretty much taking the classes in Japan weren't that difficult. You know, it was all very easygoing. I didn't struggle as much as I thought I would, except for the exception of the seminar. And I believe that other Japanese universities are the same way where the teachers are, are bilingual and they will use English to help you guys out, especially if you know like no Japanese. And my brother, my brother also studied abroad, but he studied abroad at a different university. And he told me the exact same thing. Like he, even though he didn't know that much Japanese, the university in Japan that he studied abroad at, the teachers were also bilingual and knew both English and Japanese. So it was also English friendly. And my brother also told me that he took a Japanese only class, which was not meant for foreigners, kind of like how I took the seminar and that he was also in a class that was all Japanese. But that was like our choice, like us taking like a Japanese only class. That was our choice. And like we did struggle on it, but it's good practice. And even though we did struggle, the teacher, the teachers, all the teachers were all very lenient and they were understanding because we're foreigners. So, so that, that, there you have it guys. Like if you do go study abroad, like don't worry about it. The classes are not going to be all Japanese. You're not going to struggle. They are going to help you and they are going to be understanding that, hey, these guys are foreigners. They don't know Japanese. We're going to help them as much as we can. They're going to be holding your hand. Kind of be like you're a little baby or a little toddler who doesn't know anything. So they're going to be very, very helpful. Don't worry about it. And yeah, throughout my whole study abroad trip, I think the whole university, all the classes were easy. Got through them pretty easily. Yeah, I did learn a lot. And you know, of course, I came out with a bunch of A's, you know, A pluses. Let's go. So that's all I want to say. You know, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment, drop a like. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.